Tonight, 80 people are hospitalized across the entire Aspirus healthcare system. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brad Hansen. And I'm Melissa Langben. Officials say that nearly half of those in the hospital are in the ICU. News 9's Catherine Hulverson is live in Wausau. She is joining us now with the very latest on that situation. Melissa, during a news conference today, Aspirus Health officials say of those cases, 95% are people who have not yet received the COVID vaccine. The Aspirus Health Senior Vice President says they are staying busy, but they are in a good place in terms of bed availability. They also have the option to transfer patients from one hospital to another if needed, largely in part to their expansion of facilities. And with this new surge, the health system says they're seeing a different trend. What we're seeing with this surge is about 50% of the patients who get admitted to the hospital uh, are in the intensive care unit. Those who have a higher uh, BMI, so obesity is one of the key factors uh, for those that are um, uh, admitted into the hospital. Now, a lot of the COVID positive cases they are seeing noted to be from those with chronic conditions. There are, there's also concern for Taylor County being one of the lowest when it comes to vaccination rate. And meanwhile, Aspirus is not requiring staff to be vaccinated at this time. And the vice president says he does not have a final number of the employees who have been. Live in Wausau, Katherine Halverson, News 9, WAOW.